previous lesson, we started to speak about how to structure Excel list data. And we also spoke about the importance of having column headings in your data sets. So now we're going to move on to analyzing our data. And we're going to take a look at some of the most common utilities and tools that we have for really refining our Excel lists. And we're going to start out in this lesson by talking about sorting. Now, sorting is really a way to make sense of data that's a little bit all over the place. When we add records into a data set, we're not particularly adding them in any specific order. For example, in this data set, I haven't gone in and added all of the people in HR, first of all, and then all of the people in IT, and then all of the people in sales. I kind of have these sporadically entered. Now, in this case, I've entered them using their employee IDs. So these are going up in ascending order. So we do have a little bit of a sort applied here because they're sorted chronologically by the employee ID. But it might be that I want to sort this data in a different way. Maybe I want to sort by the salary column and have the salaries listed in descending to ascending order. Or maybe I want to sort everybody by their department. Or maybe I want to sort them alphabetically by employee name. Now, when it comes to sorting Excel data, there are a few different types of sort that we can do. We can do a single level sort, a multi-level sort, and we can even do a custom sort using custom lists. We're going to discuss all of these different methods in this section, but we're going to start out in this lesson by just doing a single level sort. Now, the first thing I would always recommend that you do prior to sorting, filtering or analyzing data is put your data set into an Excel table. And we've seen how to do this before. We can simply click in our data set and press the keyboard shortcut control T. It's asking me if my table has headers. Well, yes, it does. We made sure of that in the last lesson. I'm going to click on OK. It's going to put my data into a table and it's given it not a very nice color. So let's go in and change that. I want something fairly plain here. Let's just go for plum table style light 13. I'm also going to name my table to make it easy to identify. So once again, let's jump up to the table design ribbon in the first group just here. I'm just going to call this employees and hit enter. Now, one of your advantages of putting your data into a table is that it will automatically apply these filters on the top of each column. And we can use these to filter our data, which we'll get onto a bit later, but we can also use these to sort our data as well. Hi from everyone at Simon Says It. We hope you're enjoying this training lesson. Please like this video to show your support for the channel. If you want to take your learning further, earn a certificate for this course and gain access to over 200 courses ad free, click up there and go to simonsaysit.com. Thanks for watching and back to the course. So maybe I want to sort this data by the salary column. I can click the drop down just here and notice I have sort smallest to largest or sort largest to smallest. We also have a sort by color option that we'll get onto a little bit later. Now, in this first instance, I just want to sort largest to smallest. I want to see who has the highest salary in this list of employees. So we're going to say sort largest to smallest. And I can see that Michael Williams is currently earning the most out of everybody. You can see that as soon as I applied that sort, if you take a look at the filters, on the column headings, I now have a little down arrow on the salary column to show me that I have a sort applied. And it's also showing me a downward facing arrow because we're sorting from largest to smallest. So now that I've sorted this data, it's rearranged all of these records. If you take a look at the employee ID column, you can see that these are now no longer in chronological order because we're sorting by the salary column. Now, if I decide that I want to sort by an entirely different column, it's worth noting that when we click the drop down, we don't actually have a remove sort button. All we could do here is toggle between smallest to largest or largest to smallest. If we go up to the data tab on the ribbon, also notice we have a sort and filter group just here. So this is where we can also perform the same sorts. We can do sort smallest to largest or sort largest to smallest. Now we do have a clear button just here. And whilst that will clear the sort, you can see that that little downward facing icon has been removed from the filter button, it doesn't remove the actual sort. So my data is still sorted 
by the salary column, largest to smallest. But if I wanted to resort my data, maybe by department instead, I can click the drop down. I can sort A to Z by department. So now we have finance grouped together, HR, IT, marketing, so on and so forth. Let's clear this sort. So applying a sort to individual columns, that's what we call a single sort. We can also right click in any column and we have sort options just here as well. So just be aware of all of those different methods that you can sort your data by one column. Now, if we want to sort our data by multiple columns, maybe we want to sort by salary in ascending order and then by employee name A to Z, that is where we would use a multi-level sort. And we're going to cover that in the next lesson. Congratulations on reaching the end of this training video. Continue your training in Excel 365 for Beginners with the next video in the series by clicking over here. For more related training videos, click over here to watch this popular playlist of free learning resources. To see more videos like this one, click below to subscribe.